A new push tonight to solve a mysterious disappearance. 11 years ago this week, 22 year old Jamie Fraley went missing from her Gastonia apartment. And now 11 years later, Gaston County police are still hoping to find what happened to her. As NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey tells us, there are no good suspects and no new clues. 11 years ago this week, Jamie Fraley talked to her mother on the phone. It was Kim Fraley's last conversation with her daughter because when she hung up, Jamie Fraley simply disappeared. I can't explain the pain that my family is going through. There's no words to describe it. The not knowing. Jamie Fraley was last seen alive at her Gaston County apartment. The following day, her cell phone was found tossed in the grass along a nearby road. You know, somebody has to know something. People just uh, don't just disappear without a, a trace. Gaston County police searched everywhere. They searched in woods and fields and even in the lake across from Jamie's apartment, but they found nothing. Jamie and her fiance, Ricky Simons Jr., were supposed to be getting married a week after she vanished. Every time the phone rings, I run and pick it up. Then, in a bizarre twist, his father, Ricky Simon Sr., was actually considered a person of interest. That is, until the father's body was found in the trunk of his girlfriend's car two months after Jamie was last seen. Jamie's mother launched an all-out effort to find her daughter. She handed out flyers at a checkers game, sent dozens of balloons into the air, each carrying Jamie's picture. There was even a billboard put up along I-85. It might click in somebody's head, you know, I mean, even though it's been so long, they might think, hey, wait a minute, I remember that. Eleven years later, Kim doesn't know much more about what happened than she did in the days after Jamie went missing. But as those years have passed, she never gave up. As a mother, you know, I can't give up. I have to keep going. This week, the Gaston County Police put out an annual request for information if anyone knows anything about the case, because like the mother, they are not giving up either. I'm Rad Berkey, NBC Charlotte.